We know it was launched last year by the Capital Markets Authority and we know that it is starting to make headway. Could you put it into context for us? What are we looking at right now from a regional perspective? Yeah, well, it, you know, it's very exciting. Um, East Africa has been setting itself up as a uh, Africa regional ICT hub for some years. And the, the Ministry of ICT, both here in Kenya and in all the neighboring countries, have done a lot of work. We've, we've built the undersea cables, and we now have no less than three undersea cables coming to East Africa. We have a huge amount of terrestrial fiber um, in the region and, and fully liberalized telecom sector. So, so all the ICT building blocks have really started coming into a place in the last couple of months. And, and um, connectivity costs are, are going through the floor. It, it's, it, there's a real buzz about the place in ICT. And so what we did last year in, in conjunction with the Capital Markets Authority was we said, look, um, if, if ICT has the building blocks in place, what we need to do next is sort out um, the capital side of it. And, and that's what this task force is all about. It's, it's working out what do we need to put in place to get um, capital moving into, into investments in this rapidly growing sector up here. Uh, well, Richard, it's all about getting venture capitalists involved and also private equity funds as well. Um, you're saying that things should really start to gain traction by next year. At least this is what the reports are telling us. Uh, what is the next step for this uh, task force? Right. Well, what, what we've been doing is, is really looking at the whole private equity space and saying what, what needs to be done. And, and the Capital Markets Authority, and we're very lucky here in, in Kenya, we have a very forward-thinking, can-do capital markets authority who are, who are really trying to get things moving. And, and they said to us, look, look what, what do we need to do? And so the, the, the job of the task force was to, first of all, say, what is the problem? And, and clearly the problem is that um, traditional forms of capital intermediation, like, like the listed stock exchanges and the banks, just are not, are, are not suitable for getting money into um, these ICT projects. The ICT industry is, is characterized by being very much early stage, high growth, high risk investing. Um, and, and currently, there is no intermediation mechanism for uh, retail investors to get their money into that space. And so what we said was, what, what can we do about this? Um, and, and the task force has been meeting for, for most of this year. Um, we, we have some consultants working on it, and we have a, a panel of experts drawn from across the whole industry. And, and their, their task has been to say, what do we do about it? Uh, and, and we've managed to come up with some very interesting uh, intermediations, which hopefully um, before the end of this year, we'll be publishing a report on, on what we're going to do as a region uh, to, to solve some of these problems. Well, Richard, you know, it's quite fascinating that you say that it's very, um, obviously we're seeing rapid growth in this sector. We're seeing a lot of room for growth and penetration. And of course, a lot of customers are still waiting for all these products to come online from various um, entities as well. Uh, and it's also interesting that you say a lot of the retail investors and banks are not really willing to head into this industry. If it is going to be as high growth as you're alluding to, then why not uh, get involved from a banking perspective or from a retail investor perspective? Why do you think there's just been such a reluctance? Well, let's be clear. It's, it's not so much reluctance. Um, banks uh, and, and the debt markets are really not the ideal form of capital to go into early stage ICT venture capital investing. And nor for that matter are the, the listed securities markets. Those, both of those avenues for capital intermediation are ideally suited for much more established businesses, lower risk. Um, and, and it wouldn't actually be appropriate for them to be in this space. Okay. Let's also be clear that it's not the retail investors who are the problem. The, the retail investors, in fact, in, in East Africa are very, very keen to invest in, in everything and, and anything. And the, the problem has been one of intermediation. How do you get retail money into what are essentially private equity investments in, in, in ICT? And um, elsewhere in the world, the, 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 the conduit for this will be um, tend to be the, the traditional limited partners, pension funds, endowment funds, um, more high risk mutual funds, and, and they will all be putting money into private equity funds and those private equity and, and venture capital funds mm -hmm. will then invest in, in these sort of transactions. And that intermediation just doesn't exist in, in East Africa today. Most of the money going into this sector is coming from development finance institutions or high net worth individuals. And, and whilst that is great, it, it doesn't really create a, a sector, it doesn't create a market. And so 
what the task force is doing is to say, how can we provide the, the intermediation mechanisms so that um, those retail investors who would love to invest in this sector, they see the opportunities, what, what intermediation mechanisms can we put in place so that they can invest in this sector? And, and how can we encourage um, pension funds to be investing in this sector? And, and there's a lot of work going on. That's what the task force is doing. There are, yeah. there are many parallel initiatives going on. I know there's, a, there's as, as well as the Capital Markets Authority, the Retirement Benefits Authority has a very can-do attitude. They want to see things change. And so there's this great head of steam building. And, and we really think that um, by the, the end of this year and probably early next year, we're going to see some real breakthroughs in this space with a lot of um, new initiatives coming out, new vehicles coming on the market where people can invest in this sector. Or so like, yeah. um, it, it may seem like it's taking a long time to get there. But, but everything, all the stars, stars are lining up and everything's heading in the right direction. Well, Richard, I'm sure we'll be catching, with you, uh, catching up with you relatively soon so you can tell us what the task force has been up to. Of course.